Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Integer and welcome to Bear and Breakfast, where we serve bear necessities, mother nature recipes, to bear those life's necessities to you. I have been watching this game for a while now, looking forward to its release because essentially it looks like a, a sim slash management slash that sort of game, if you know what I mean. And the art style is the first thing that caught my eye. It looks absolutely gorgeous. There's no two ways about it. It has very unique style, very distinguished, has a lovely level of detail and just that warmth. So. I suspect this to be relatively pleasant experience as far as video games can go. Or as bad as some of them can get, obviously. But we shall see, and I'm sure there will be plenty of challenges and other things. Now, I don't really know at this point in time still what format this playthrough will be featured as on YouTube. Whether it's short episodes, a long play, higher or more edited videos. I don't know, we shall see. So I'm just starting here. We've got a cat butt. Gummy cat with that cat butt icon. Love it. Options are quite lackluster at the moment. It actually took me a while to set the resolution to 1440p on my 27 inch monitor. For some reason it kept, when I chose the 1440p resolution on full screen mode, it kept trying to apply that resolution on one of my other monitors, which are 24 inch and 1080p. So suffice to say that wouldn't work. In the end, I was able to set it to full screen first, restart the game, and get the resolution to 1440p to stick and stay, for the game to stay on the main screen. Audio, nothing too fancy here. Controls, WASD uh, for moving, which means we'll have direct control of our bear, probably. And then the regular, quite a default stuff. I for inventory, C for character, L for quest log, M for map, and... All these things. So we're starting the game. We're accepting and load in. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? That's so accurate and appropriate and just... Yeah, I feel you, bro. I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Okay, maybe that's slightly too deep and too, un too much of a voice. <laughs> Although, you never know. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. Huh? His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. Sorry, I was just adjusting the microphone a little. There was no one there. Everything felt dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Um. Hello? Here we go. I can't move. Do not. This is weird, man. What's going on? Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. <laughs> WASD to move around. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Flip, 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 flip. Find. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's my bed. You mean like an introspection thing? <laughs> Sleep. Yikes. Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. I mean, what makes you think it's a deathbed? The whole experience is kind of creepy. Need to interact, Roger that. There's no way to, like, cancel that prompt when it appears. We just literally just jumped into the bed. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. I mean... True. Wake. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. I've had enough of these nightmares. For the third time, Hank. 
Uh oh, better see what's up. Is that Hank's mom or his wife? Doink. Jim look, sleep is overrated. Inventory character. Is this like our just our little backpack, okay? Dum thum dum dum oh, eh, light. Turn on, turn off. Yeah, we can turn it off, it's fine. It's like a Christmas bauble. Um the thicket. We got a nice room with some flooring, a bed, a side table. Is that like a mirror? Is that like a guitar? That looks like maybe a guitar or some instrument. Then it's just like, this is just a cave. Like, what is going on? A little picture. A little, a little portrait picture. And a little uh, landscape picture. I guess we're going out. Oh, this is another room. Okay. A living room by the looks of it. Can't sit, we've got some nice vases, couple of barrels, a locked door, as you do. Nice locked. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh, that's a kitchen slash living room. What is the sofa facing? There's like a, what is this? This is like a bench or like a chest of drawers or something? It doesn't necessarily look like a TV or anything you would actually watch. Maybe a fireplace? This could be, could this be a fireplace and this is the mantle? Maybe. That's mom's bed, probably. Or maybe a guest bed. We've got the kitchen. That's the window. Shelves on the side. I don't know any cooking recipes. Okay. That's the fridge. Huh, okay. Alright, cool. Mom, be, uh, be environmentally cautious, c conscious, please. Turn off the lights if you don't need them. I'm up. I'm, uh, I'm up. Well, yeah, well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides. Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Hank Sage. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> I was like, that helped your father. Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm, um, uh, wh where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake them up. All right, honey. Okay, the basics while the bench mode, you can control Hank using WASD and walk around. So, it's probably one of these rooms. Yeah, it's this one right here. Options. What is this? Show walls? Oh. Okay. So, no roof. Show walls. Show, show wall and roof. No roof, just walls and no walls. Okay. What the hell is this burb? Good. Get out. Uh, morning. Oh, he's like, good morning. Out. That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Uh, I don't smell any reasons, any reasons to be up just yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a while away. Come on, Will. Will is a bit of a nasty pigeon, isn't he? Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check out under the bushes for mushrooms. But I tell ya, I live for the hunt. Okay, she's a bit overly excited and he's overly grumpy. Roger that. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like, good old visit to the dumpster. <laughs> Look at this face light up. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. Wait, you're on his side now? It's the morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> Hank! Kids! Over here! Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming. Where's that? The next one, you can walk around, direct with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Okay. So this is much like introducing the characters rather than actually introducing us the gameplay. Which, you know, I'm honestly absolutely fine with. No complaints or anything, just more of a more so a statement. What's in denim anyway? Oh, what is denim? That's a good question. 
large bramble heap. I could use logger tools to remove this probably, but I don't have them, so that's fine. It's like a washing a bucket. Limited map, zoom in, zoom out. Oh, can I go this way? Yeah, I can. Oh, I can actually go all the way. This Is this the fence that he said mom doesn't allow you through? Or you shouldn't be going past? That's my inventory. Furniture items like, yeah, lug, lug a fence. A uh, fence, sorry, lug a sofa with you while you're at it. And a couple of armchairs. Can't read what it says. Oh, it's a grave. Oh, that's kind of sad, I guess. Okay. What is going on here? Hey, Ma! Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today's a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. <laughs> Dribbling. All right, point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? Hmm. I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. Ah. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. Soon, you so you'll need to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure, hey! Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so we don't forget. Sweet. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. No, not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. Cool. Just get the notebook, which is a collectible item. Collectible special items you unlock for your character that give various perks. You can find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. You can now access the quest log from the menu bar. It shows your current quest, allows you to track them. Objectives using the arrows indicator. Quests which will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game will be flagged. Okay. Quest status icons will display over characters. Orange means available. Blue means in progress. Green means ready. Cool. So. Oh, it's right here. Half empty notebook ready to be filled with you, with stuff you shouldn't forget. First page says to my love. Allows tracking quests. Huh. To your surprise, Margaret asks you to travel southeast into Black Moss. Once there, you should look for a bush of alligator weed. Go to Black Moss through the thicket. We're tracking it, so we've got the marker on the map. Okay. Did it just get suddenly fucking dark? Like, proper dark. There we go. There we go. We're going off on an adventure. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Wait, what? Didn't it just say it's their first adventure? Annie the Karelian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. A Balakmos. Will. Alright, gang, spre spread out! Mm. Roger that. So that's my target. It's a pretty big area, actually. What are these? Right, we're looking for alligator weed. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking over here. <laughs> And he has anything to do. Will stayed up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. Don't know, I fell asleep halfway through. <laughs> there it is. Gar screech tires. Nani? What in the what? I heard it too. 
We'd better go. But we haven't found the thing your mom yet. I'm with Hank. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. I mean, didn't I just pick some up? Oh, I guess maybe I was just like, quote unquote, checking for it rather than actually collecting it. Like, check a, check a bush to see if there's any gator weed in it. Let's see, what are these? Wait. Oh, this is like all water, so I can't pass, right? Let's zoom in a little bit. Fucking dark, man. Flip, 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 flip. Right, okay, there's no way to cross. Wait, what about this bridge? It doesn't go all the way. Why would it? Okay. So it looks like we're kind of gated to just go basically almost sort of only right. Although, can I squeeze through here? No. That's one big rock. Okay. Timber crossing. Luxurious old house. Plus request pretty cotton sheet. Plywood plank, pine wood loggers, tools. Huh? What do I what do I do with this? Would I build one? Upgrade one? Not sure. Valuables, valuables. So what valuables are I am collecting? Crafting items? No. Oh. Like food scraps? Some sort of a scrap material? Crafting table, pine wood plank. Oh, I was building and crafting in this area. So, oh, I guess I need like three planks to repair it. There we go. Take home. So now we have an, enough wood for the for the repairs of the crafting table. I guess that's what it's for. We've got this. Actually, let's. Can I see the full house? That's what it looks like from the outside. Okay. A bit shaky and nothing like amazing, but you know, it's a house. Valuables, more planks. So there's like different types of wood. Pine wood and plywood. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, I get to basically scavenge. Ooh, got cotton sheet, iron nails. Uh, valuables, valuables. Um, yep. All of these are coming my way. Can I pick up crap? Yeah. Some, just some rob rob rubbish. Bus station, so I could technically fix this. Oh, there's something across the road. Can I cross the road? Yes, I can. Can even get rubbish from like these old tree stumps. Right. So there was got a pawn voyage by. Okay. Annie, I hope I sniff out something good today. Oh, okay. Finn. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. A strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. This is like a PA machine, right? Like one of those order ordering devices you see in drive throughs A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurring, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by your throat and show it who's boss. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there. Fine, uh, gentleman in the, um, in the orange coat. I am pretty gentle, I guess. How would you like to own the next miter share and the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? <laughs> Little tongue out. Very, very minor. 
How exactly are you talking? On Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your friend corporation. What the? Offering secure touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. Oh, you lost me. That's just words, man. They're just saying words. Don't think you'll ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive. Or a heirloom. <laughs> heirloom. Bon Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans? To live? Here? I don't think anyone wants to live here, they're just tourists. I've seen this before. Humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. Hmm. I read it in a magazine. Humans are wacko! If you're fr uh, you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a pawn voyage premium premises, this is basically Airbnb going to the forest and asking animals if humans can stay in their homes. By restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bring it up to a minimum standard, which frankly, no one enforces, I should say, and drastically, or barely, alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet and under a representative, I will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure he wants to give us money. Human-grade, primal-quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, not really, love. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. <laughs> and that was more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength? My foolproof understanding of all things. <laughs> and spoil sports cheerful attitude. I am cheerful, thank you very much. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Hank is just like, dude, it's just going over my head. Tell me that, tell me like I'm five. Human back. Money give good. I'm gonna be... It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. So, just peer pressure from friends. That's how, you know, youth. When you're in, you get into a lot of trouble. And get experience good and bad things. Just peer pressure for friends. Yes, yes, yes. Press the green button. Um, you walk away. I don't think I can, like, properly walk away. I think I have to press the green button. All it's missing is a picnic basket. It's a bench, dude. Why is it missing a picnic basket? Okay. All right, let's press the green button. Here comes the magical uh, click. Lick. Not lick, click. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obliged to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first uh, guest. Uh, Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses and the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a buzz? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, he'll enjoy the company. 
I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he'll ever let, he ever let sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. What about mom's alligator weed? What just happened? It's like dad, your stepdad, or your like dad going out to get a pack of cigarettes and a carton of milk and just not, not coming back for 20 years. This is the same, just your children leaving. Like, what is going on? Um... Oh, well, we have actually... This is like a fuel station? No. What is this? Like something proper, properly decrepit. Like everything in around here. But what, what was... What did this used to be? I'm trying to figure out what these are. Oh, this is like... Oh, I see. It's just like a very tall ceiling building. So you just see half the front walls, I see. Road barriers everywhere, that's fair, that's fair. It's called the Timber Crossing. Okay. Oh, that's a, like a big lot right over here. Ah. So this is probably like where the uh, the bus park, bus park, buses park, uh, and we also get. Oh, there's actually a human here. What? I didn't see that. Why is he talking to a bear? I could sit in bed and play video games all day. They sure don't make him like they used to. How do they make them? Look, but I just play him. Oh wait, he's actually. That's why I couldn't see him because he's in bed. I always want to be a race car driver. Not many Buzz Grand Prix out there, I tell ya. I mean, I don't mind just having a chat with him as long as he's, he doesn't freak out and run away. It's getting dark. Right, let's go. Let's go see... Um, Tony? Can we just get the gator weed and bring it back to mom? Like, am I the only one concerned? Am I the only one who's not forgetting? There's actually a bus stop in sawdust as well. I need to make sure I don't run out of time because we have like a limited amount of days before... I need to have a house ready. My God, a bear! It's just me, sir. Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk? <sighs> I'm just anger tail boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I want to ask if you could help us. Uh, we've got a... Help? Why'd you just say so? What'd you need? A sack of bitch? I mean, birch? Well, actually... My friends and I were wondering... An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone told you how to saw yet? Oh, there's this uh, shark in, in, in Timber Crossing. Just just listen. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things, Tony? Or humans, I mean. Well, as of course you know, everyone, everything people make is perfect. <laughs> Naturally. When I took over the mill, I hear I found all these papers and schematics. I feel like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Looky here. Elaborate contours, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, uh, would you like me to teach you? Uh, yeah, well, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back on mallet. Uh, uh, a ladder. Oh, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. <laughs> They're all yellow. Okay, we need materials. So what does he need? I think I already have the stuff because that's already crossed out. Oh, it's the planks that I've collected. So did you find all the wood? Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect, you're doing such a great job. Um, thanks, I just picked it off the ground. Amazing! Now I'm headed to the timber crossing, I'll see you there. Tony the- almost said Tony the rabbit, he's not a fucking rabbit. He's a beaver. 
Nice little house. Plant. <gasps> Light. What is this? Logger stools! We got them! Um, actually, they were in the corner. I didn't notice. Can't nap in his bed. It's Z time. Wait. Can only sleep at night. What time of day do you call this? It's fucking pitch black outside! Let's get some wood. Ooh, 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 I got some mahogany. Mahogany is quite fancy, hogany. Lovely jubbly. Uh, okay, that's a fence. That's why I can't walk through. What is this? Hmm, why not simply punch the trees? What? Why not simply punch the trees? Why? What is this? Oh, there's like a mechanical hand. Oh, is it? I guess it's the loading arm to load it into the uh, into the truck. But what does punching have to do with anything? I am probably stupid and just failed to see a very simple correlation between the things. But it's okay. Let's go back. Uh, meet Tony back at the timber crossing. Oh, Tony is right there. There he is. Hey, Tony! Well, you strike me as real leave the gun take the cannoli kind of guy. Yes, all of this is wonderful, and we're gonna use this old shed. I uh, haven't seen a human claim it in here, so yes, this will do just nicely. Look who decided to finally show up! Oh, that was Will saying. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started, but you first have to clean up the shed. I think I can do that. I already did that. Did you clean it up? Yes, sir. Great, now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in the thin air. You need some, some place to make it work. Table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it together while I tidy up the place. Right. We fix this up. Yoink. Yeah, we used to build rooms and craft furniture. sweet -o. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. Is good. Enough. Um, thanks. Sage, excuse me. Oh, that's like a train? This is literally like a train horn, dude. What is going on? Excuse me, you have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is not, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Stock update. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. Awesome, you've unlocked a new crafting shabby pally bed recipe. Go make one at the workbench. Okay. Um, dinky shed. Floor up, okay. Build room. Comfort. Bed. Okay, so I need to build a... Using the word craft a bed. Let's craft a bed. Crafting? Okay. Bed, there it is. Resources, one plywood. Plank and one cotton sheet. Comfort decoration, two. Shabby pally bed recipe. Okay. We click on that and we make a bed. That's that. This wood just keeps respawning. <laughs> okay. I don't mind if you do. Were you able to make the bed? Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad, bro. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Okay, so you need to uh, uh, you need to use the workbench to build and edit rooms within the cabin. So my resorts. Okay. So comfort bedroom. How big is the bed? Two by one? Two by two? Sure. This is the door. Okay, so we can put. Can I put it on the side? R to rotate. Yes, it is. 
Uh, no, actually, I want to put it somewhere like here. There we go. Minimum size two by three. Okay. So, do I just place the bed in? Close that. Uh, actually, right click. Close that. Build functional bedroom. So, I guess we just need to put a bed in. Is this now a functioning bedroom? Look at this royal room with nothing but bed inside. I guess I need to actually, yeah, pay up, pay it up. Oh, that's quite expensive. Bed doors and beds. That's probably all you need to actually get, like, a quote-unquote basic level thing. Cool. So, we're able to make it. Yes, stains and all. <laughs> stains are even hand and homemade. What? Brilliant! I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their full sense of superiority. Having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome. Turning down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. A little black ball book to keep the records for the shark. Ah, yes, yes, how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Front desk recipe. Cool. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. So we'll have... Craft front desk. So I thought this would be under crafting. Non recipes. Oh, there it is. An idiot. Four wood. Cool. Oh, wait, no, I need, um, I need to make, um, build a room. Comfort, no. Crafting. How do I just place it without a room? How do I close this? Oh, I guess just like this. We select the inventory, and now we... Wait, um, which way is it facing? So it's kind of put it like right here. You know? I guess I'll do. Did you place the front desk? Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, so you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? Do you know how to take a compliment, Hank? Uh oh. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Go talk to Shock Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. Making this gravelly voice for Will is actually killing my throat. Whew. Okay. So we got the place ready. It's like half empty, but you know, it's okay. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the button. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. I mean, that's not an accurate statement. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you ask the Hank. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. I guess so much for that. Congratulations, your property is now on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. The front desk can be used to manage your resorts. The resort overview panel will show all the active reports you've discovered. Somewhere, fucking, there's like a, what? Okay. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resorts. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. 
Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the accept button to accept a guest request. Guest management, assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the guest demands for better reviews and payouts. You can get more quest guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you are off well while you are off on an adventure in other location, your results will still run. Okay. Let's get our first Oh my god, I put it in a place where I actually can't walk behind it. Well, this is not very great. Um Okay. Is this gonna be enough space to walk behind? Yes, sir. Oh wait, it's this way, right? Yeah, because if this way, right. So that means that the uh, that the white line that was in that was shown, nope, that was shown means that this is the side that you access it from. Okay. Does it though? Does it really, or is it that uh, this only can be accessed from one side? I don't know, dude. It's fine. I'll just put it against the wall. It's fine. It's a small little bed and breakfast shack. Right, I think you should. Timber crossing, bedrooms, active guest details. Bedrooms, details. Okay. Pro pro prestige level. Cool. Accept my first desk. How? My guest. How do I accept a guest? There are no guests. Oh, guest requests. There it is. Elisha Lawson. For two days, she wants three comfort and five de decor. I don't fucking have those criteria, Matt. Get into that room. She'll arrive tomorrow. Literally, a, a, an empty room with a bed. That's all she wrote. That's all she's gonna fucking get. Nothing to lose. Yes, yes, yes. Press the green button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you're now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin, but you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands, as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. This unlocks fast travel. Uh, what am I to do now? Literally nothing. Oh, I guess I'm just waiting for a day. Do I have any other blueprints? Uh, decorative items, none. Wall decorations, no. Sagio. Uh oh, Sagio. Let's go around and get some. Materials, I assume that's all I can do. Maybe I can go back and fetch some grass for mom. Grass, I mean alligator weed. You know what I meant. Where's like a world map? The black ones. Yeah, we need to go that way. Um. Yeah, how do I cross the stream, dude? I wonder if we can speak to uh, to mom and just say, look, we kind of maybe undeliberately, but probably very deliberately just enrolled ourselves into this uh, franchising. <laughs> Sorry. I see you running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby, I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. What? I can help you out, but you have to promise to be more careful. Here you go, honey. Wait, she just gave me money? She just gave me like a hundred coins. Wait, so she actually doesn't care anymore about my... About me bringing back the... Uh... The alligator weed? How strange. Where would she go? She going to do the washing? Oh, cool, this is actually animated. Holy smoly, this is nice. Wow, 
what is denim anyway? It's like a very philosophical question. What is denim? Why denim? Old, odd-looking fella. It's like a deer, man. What do you mean, odd-looking? You're a bear. You should know your animals. Okay, let's go back to Black Moss. I don't think we can do anything in Black Moss. I could maybe explore other areas connecting with a timber crossing, but we shall see. So I expected this to be much more like open-ended sim-like rather than have this quite, uh, quite a strong direction, at least for the beginning, in terms of story and, and, and what drives you forward. Maybe it will open up much more later. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a story mode which has a beginning, obviously middle and an end. And then you can continue doing like a free 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 play, if you know what I mean. Wait, did this guy always have a quest and I just not notice it? it looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't prestige. Wow. That means the decoration levels of property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly like your mama. It looks just like my room. Hmm. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. I just changed the accent in which I'm reading the, this automated shark messaging system so many times, dude. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to satisfying degree before returning. Okay. It's so all decorations across a resort. Can be found a resort over your panel. Yes. Increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Prestige level 2. So for that we need... For 13 prestige points. Where the fuck do I get? Oh, why is the why is my quest marker? Oh, this is probably where I get recipes. Oh, hello. Who are you? The Dodger Raccoon. Took. Oh, there, big fella. Hey, yeah. Where'd you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Ah, I know the questions. Yeah. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for you know something humans-like, like something that would make them feel I don't know more. Distinguished? Slop, scrap, rubble? No, no, I need something exquisite. Ah, that's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need, yes. I've got stumbled upon the most handsome creator of the crap this side of the valley, yes. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, uh, let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know I can trust you? Uh, my, um, authoritative height? Be that as may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon, yeah, yeah, I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, although I do spend a lot of time down there, hmm, hmm. But, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you why, there's a bus depot across the road, I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk, yes. Okay. He is definitely a shifty looking fella. Um. Wait, not the, this, this bus stop, this bus stop right here, okay. Tasty sandwich. Must taste as good as it looks. Wait. So there's like actually... This is not like an actually derelict bus. Maybe it isn't. So, did you find any grub? Yep, right here. Stale, stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Hmm, just like mommy used to make them. Yeah, all right, you brutish, cr you brutish cr crammer. I'll let you buy my special section swell. Here, I'll even have you l let you have this one for free. Nothing else comes at a price. I don't mean none of that singing human stuff. I mean real valuables. Took's garbage. Has new items available. How come I ain't seen you around here before, fella? Oh, we used to come here all the time. The dumpster diving and all that. Oh, really? Did you did, didn't take you for a criminal? <laughs> no, 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 not like that, dude. Come on, my buddy Will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets and no bad stuff. 
Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch you if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not just the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't, fella. Yes, yes. Anyway, human coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off and probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, listen, I got plenty of demand, so our business revolves around supply, yes. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And specialists in pickings so who don't get any of the rich-looking kind, they dump the best stuff. I tell you what, since you're fixing up the whole shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons, yes. Um... I'm just getting the hang of it, honestly. This just sounds like so much more complicated. <laughs> this is one and done deal, my friend. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The people will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Yes, yes. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop? Okay, Tooks Dumpsters are a one stop shop for decorative objects. Accept valuables as currency. The world is littered with them, literally. Guests also leave behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative objects from Took. So we just go here. Okay. Janky floor emitter. Welcome mat. Small geo rug. Small bear painting. Scuffed cupboard cabinet. I've got 48 valuables, so we're good. Small oil light furniture. Decorative. Okay. Cardboard box. Why is this a decorative? <laughs> Right, let's get, um, scuffed cupboard, right. Oh, no, actually, it's cost us five, but it's decorative. Um, increase value is just one. Right, let's get a small bear painting. We're gonna get Geo Rug. I'll get a welcome mat. Uh, oil lamp, oil light. They are both five. Everything is actually five. A uh, small potted prayer plant. Wait, what is this? Flower vase. Sure. Sophistication. Uh, we'll get a janky floor mirror. I'll get a um, a little small nightstand. And um, old drawers maybe. And we'll need a light in the room because we're we're not we're not like. No, we're not awful people, are we? There we go. We'll see how much this will increase my prestige by. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Uh, um, hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans. Oh, you do, do you? And um, what authority is that exactly? Um, well, oh, Marvel is still travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things, first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallel parallel piped. A rectangular what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? All right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea as usual, my son. Student! Yes, that's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. <laughs> well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place of all the rubble, then we'll get to building. All right. I think I need to do it through the uh, workbench to decorate. Right. So, welcome at can only be inside. Okay. Let's do a welcome here. There we go. Can I not zoom in more? Ah. Weird. Oh, I can add windows, I just realized. Then they are they free? Look like they are. There you go, nice and bright. And we got one window here. Let's put one here. We've got two at the front and we'll have one on the side. Okay. So now I want all drawers. Uh, can go here against this wall. We'll put a lamp on top. There we go. Little side table. Actually, no. We'll put a side table and I'll take the lamp on here. And the vase will go on this. 
We'll have a nice little mirror. Wrong way. This way. Yep. Mirror here. Carpet here. And a small bear painting. It's right above the bed. There we go. Look at this place. Absolutely beaming. I mean, it's still about three times the size it should be. Not bad, really. Okay, I need to get more, quote unquote, valuables. I'll just finish clearing this place real quick. Oh, that's some crap here. Okay. Something that gives me two. Janky floor mirror, small nightstand. Um, okay, I definitely have enough. But I can actually make get like one of these and like a lamp for the corridor maybe. Oh, I think that should get it to above. Ding. Or to level two more, more most importantly. I can't actually put this lamp on. Where does this lamp go on? So this goes on here. What about this? Next to a wall facing outwards? Oh, 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 I see. It's like a wall thing. Okay. Well, this stool is like random. No, just sit there. It's the chair for the receptionist. <laughs> Small nightstand? No, it's my, it's my, it's, it's a stool. So, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's now ticked as well. Cool. So, speak to the beaver. Yeah, all clean. Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything, there should be something or the other. I go make a couple, but I don't have everything. I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities. I need to get it all together. I need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great treasure hunt. Take your time. I'll put everything else in the meantime. Right. Book on spelling from Thicket, computer from Sawdust, and pen and string from th Timber Crossing from the uh, bus shack. Okay. Press the green button. button. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations. You've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278 more percent than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Yes, sir. Seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Bon Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Complete the stay for two, for plus two guests in Timber Crossing. Like, so what does that mean? Two more? Two more than I have now? Let's see, right, we're looking for that computer. That's the biggest crack I've seen. <laughs> what? Is that an ass joke? Oh, Hank, you naughty. So he, he, you naughty, naughty bear. We can tell that this, this, this bear is an is an ass bear. He likes a good crack. Unless it was not about an ass crack reference to at all. In which case, okay, fair enough. Sad. There it is. Ooh, can we climb? Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, there's a human here. Knock, knock. <laughs> Being afraid of heights just means you haven't seen everything that's down here there yet. Okay. Sure, it could go for some right now. What would you say? I thought I could like check the table, but I can't. Literally nothing else to do here, Sedge.
The prospector is scared to get rid of the uh, rocks, I see. Oh, there's wood here. That's a nice big stack. I wonder if my um, tourist arrives arrived yet. Okay, that's the um, that's the ticket, dude, bus dude. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good-looking one? I haven't seen your likes around my bushes before. I would argue you're the rarer sight. Bear noises. Oh, what kind of looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the business here if it wasn't evident. Ah, look at me. Of course, it's not evident, Bears. Don't take the bus. Do, do you take the bus? I've been a broken down tractor before. Does that count? Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? I do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't just leave my buses, and there's not been any post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me. Find it in your main inventory. She usually hangs around the Fire Watch Tower. Wait, that was Sabine. I guess Beanie is like short for Sabine. Cool. Wait a second, I think our guest just checked in. We heard the bell ding a ling. <gasps> He's quite happy. Hello, love. Oh, why did she run away? No! No! What are you doing? Come back! What what scared you? It's a nice little room! What do you mean? No! Hello. Take a picture of me. Going to sleep, okay. Wait, we need to pick this stuff, and I want to see if she actually goes back to the room. Um, pen on a string. Yes, sir. Very fucking proper. Oh, crispy, crispy time, sir. Bloop, 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 bloop. She's going back to the room. Okay, so she wasn't actually, like, afraid of my presence. I mean, she did just walk past a beaver with a hard hat and glasses and what really looks like a fake mustache. And a small bird with a dodgy cap. Um... Okay, so we need to go back to... Maybe she does get kind of freaked by us. Because she always gets that reaction when we get close. Keg W. Right, let's go back home and pick up the uh, book from, from Will's room. Man, I still can't forgive it. Where, where, Where's the alligator moss? Alligator weed. Mom's like... And don't you go messing with the, uh, with the humans. And what are we doing? What are we doing now? It's like someone tell, it's like someone's parents asking you, like your parents asking you, don't do drugs and you just start becoming a cocaine baron. It's like, what? Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy, too little just makes you dumb. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> Um, a book here? No. This is Will's bed, right? It looks more like a fucking cat litter. Here? Yes. There it is. Got him. Wait, can I actually clear this? Because I have the uh, tools. Yes. And I think this will, the path is cleared ahead. Lovely. Do I now have only one? Yeah, okay, so you do consume the tours in the process. Because I think this is going to bring me to sawdust. Yep, just a bit of a shortcut. I don't have to walk around through black moss and uh, timber thing. I'm still surprised there is actually no, like, overall map that you can maximize. Aha, we do have a house here. Wait, yeah, this is where, this is where Beaver lives. Okay, I just didn't recognize it at first. I'm a bit of a dumbass. Please ignore. Let's grab all the wood that we can. Is there like a... What was that? A hiss. Kinda scary, bro. Oh, there she is. Hey, Sabine! 
Arr, Chewbacca noises. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? With my features. <laughs> Burbling beer noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can't understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh, yeah? Dana, what am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yawking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, uh, that's just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like, um, I like Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel! Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. No, 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 no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license and I had a much smaller hat. Did your hat increase in size with the experience and years? We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? He doesn't even know I have the rest. You received a compass. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Which unlocks the area map view. The area map can be accessed. Oh, there it is. It will show us all the important marks, nine marks in the vicinity. Sweet. Okay, so that was just that just needed unlocking. Oh. Okay, so it I can't seem to like zoom in and out. But it shows all the resources, passages that can be cleared, a bus stop, like building opportunities, etc. Cool, 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 cool. Did I say cool enough times? Cool, 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 cool. Excuse me. It's just one of those times where you start saying something and you just can't really stop. Flop, 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 flop. Is she checking out? She looks like she's checking out. Oh, she, she just checked my um, my room. My, my reception desk, I guess. Yeah, she, she freaks out again. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I think I have a... I think I have a sneeze coming out. Okay, so this pause actually was a bit longer than expected. And it looks like the time actually doesn't stop when you're in the dialogue. That's kind of sad. It took you a while, but here you go. Oh, yes, yes. This is everything I need. And we have the uh, little... Uh... Oh, no, the, the, the lady's still here. I guess she hasn't slept over yet. Yeah, it won't take long. Ooh, look at this. How did he... Okay. Just like new. Talk to Took in the inaugurate. To inaugurate the kiosk. Is that his box? Is, where, is that where he lives? Uh, is the kiosk ready? Yes, yes, yes. Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd say this, but a uh, logaria. Um, excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1986, 1982 crossword semis. I found it at the dumpster the other day. Uh, that's gross. No, we were thinking of the other thing. We found, I found that too. <laughs> what? You found some diarrhea in the dumpster. Anyway, you did good, kid. You did good. Yes. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Hmm. Oh, and uh, I'm putting in a good work with a big cheese. Uh, Uh oh. All right, Hank, my boys. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start. Though there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mail. If you ever need me, I will say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Took's garbage. His new items available. Sweet. Ooh, baby. Got a jukebox. Oh, that's a lot. Snake plant, snake plant, sturdy wood shelf, simple floor mirror, janky bathroom mirror, modest towel rack. Yeah, what about shower facilities? Ooh, post possum clock. Damn, nice. 
Unlocking shop condos. Completing quests and progressing through the store unlocks the items for sale in shops. Blueprints and cooking recipes only need to be bought one time. Once learned, they will never dis they will disappear from the shop. Okay. Okay. So what the hell is this place? Is this where tourists will come and spend their money so we can I can pick up like valuables and whatnot? Our guest is sleepy sleeps. Um, I thought maybe I, could, I would have to buy blueprints there, but I couldn't find like uh, anything to interact with. Hey, Ollie, back already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? She called you a weasel. Oh, you're the man, bud. Oh, or bear. Sorry. Uh, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Drawing all of this out with her was the most fun I had ever had. Short of drawing a bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's Sawdusk and High Lake, and look, this is where we are. Ah, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There were places the bus couldn't even reach. Hmm. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses, but it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed for me or my buses in a long time, but with all the new folks starting to visit, I think you should have this. And look, see where the old bus stops are? You managed to fix this up like you did with the old store shed. I'll give you your bus I'll give you bus riders for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Sweet. Atlas found it in your collectibles. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Roger that, sir. Uh, what was the Atlas? What does the Atlas do? Uh, not this. It's the last one we're after. Which unlocks the world map view. The world map can back up by clicking the world map button in the area. Okay, so somewhere here. Yes, sir. Oh. So we've got black moss, the thicket, sawdust. So there's something that I'm still missing here. Looks like it. Okay. Got plenty of resources. Boom. You can now fast travel here. I can only travel to places that do have bus stops. That's fair. Uh, let's go turn in that quest. Did you get it fixed? I did. Approving bear noises. That's great news, bud! Uh, Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. Baloney. Not baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these tops, just give it a watch, slap a new sign on it. And boom, you'll drive there anytime. Oh, okay. So he's the one that's selling some stuff at, from the from the toolbox. Hank, Hank, where are you? Thump, 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 thump. Where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he made, uh, and he taught me how to find some lumber. And then we made a bed for humans. I mean, you've been standing here all this time, guys. What are you talking about? And where did you find the alligator weed? Oh, no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yes? <gasps> yeah. Mom. There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Dude, what did I say? We... Broken bus station can be found throughout the world. Repairing in an area locks fast travel to and from. Bus posters can be found in all of the shop, among other oddities and progression items. Cool. What about my guest? It's fine. She'll be fine. She can just self-check out. It's kind of like Airbnb sort of situation. Uh, well, let's see. Loggers tools and bus passes. Okay, so bus passes are you used to repair bus stops and loggers tools to, like, clear out some rubble. And some crafts, I think, require those. Okay, we're going back. We're going home. Ba -da -da. 
Bam, 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 bam. Just skip through the black moss again. I imagine sooner or later we'll like be able to like, I don't know, cut down a tree or like a passage will get cleared automatically. Or maybe we'll, we'll probably, you know what, we'll probably be able to fix this bridge. Because if you look at the map, the map actually has the bridge stretched from left to right all throughout. Whereas here it's broken off. So I'm pretty sure the way we're going to get get access to the rest of this area is by fixing this bridge. Because, you know, I'm a gamer and I can uh, see slash predict these things. Hank! Kids! Oh, I'm Jim, so worried, Ruffle Mao. That's not the word to use, but never mind. Hank, where have you been? Goodness gracious! Are you alright? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. I just started a business venture by acquiring rights to open up a franchise. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you? I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. Wait, what? We're gonna get more to visit, and it'll bring money and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and, uh, and get to make stuff for them. Me. Tony taught me how to build a bed, and... Oh, I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. It's just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. We're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta check our. We gotta go and check on our humans. I got a trucker cap. Awesome. All right, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. Now get some rest. Wait, so we're actually like have no choice but to go to sleep? Anton. Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just fine f from here. What? Well, let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I didn't know such thing. Relax. It's a good thing. Um, it is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash talking associate, which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Um, why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer. You can't refuse. Hmm. Or... I mean, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a, it's a pretty good offer. Uh, do what you want, I don't care. Huh, that was weird. Little bird, little, little mousy fella. Gone. Okay. We're wearing our cap. Hey, Mom. Make sure don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little just makes you dumb. Oh, Mom, come on. Okay. How do I eat, though? Mom, there's nothing in the fridge. Just, just turn her light on. Wait, was that Will walking out? Oh, there's Anne. We'll, st we'll stay up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. I don't know, I fell asleep halfway. Wait, same line as before, love. Is she just that forgetful that he will keeps watching the same film every night and she just doesn't clock it? The reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because people only think them up on Monday. I mean, not even really. Not even really worth commenting on. Come on, man, we need to go and check on our business. Business. We heard the belting, like the reception belting. I wonder if that was probably the, 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 the lady checking out. You could be a nice table. Huh? Who's there? Hey, why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? Um, you don't seem very frightening. Uh, that's all right. You're not the first creature I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. Sorry, but didn't mean to startle you. 
Apologetic bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell it's Shopee Jeffrey from Blue Shag. Do you know where you are? I lived here all my life. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Or, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot on this place anymore. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost looks like something's drawing them back. Oh, and then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? Might have put a few things together. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, quite the accomplishment. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork. And as mysteriously as she appeared, Barbara sprinted away. Right, so what's our guest doing? She's still sleeping? Can I kick her out? Like, what the hell is going on? What's the dude? Go home. Um, do I finally have more recipes? Like, can I build a lot of more stuff? Or, like, at least craft more stuff? No filter. Nope. Where do I get blueprints? <laughs> also, what's my... I have very few valuables. Uh, I actually could see maybe there is a number, another request for a visit already. Oh god. There's plenty. So I actually don't remember. Maybe she was... How many days is she? Leaves tomorrow, okay. Poppy May Bo Boyer. This guest expresses a higher than average decoration score during their stay. So she wants 8. Mine's at 15, dude. What's going on? Average the uh, higher than average comfort. Come on, Ellie. No, that's not gonna happen. Um I feel like Megan. Is she gonna arrive like tomorrow? Oh, I actually need a room. Oh wait, I can assign it to her. Cause Alicia's gonna leave tomorrow and Megan's gonna arrive tomorrow. Wait, so ideally I would need to try and get more valuables um, to decorate another room. I can maybe try and scavenge some around. There's, there seems like some stuff around here and there, but it's probably mostly wood, right? Seems so. Talk the little jittery, jittery raccoon. Like seriously, what is this? What is the purpose of this place? Like I somewhat expected. I had mentioned this before, but I expected this to be like. Oh, there's a. Oh no, there's just a light. Damn it! Thought it could access the computer, maybe fiddle with some blueprints or learn some recipes or something like that. Hey, bud. Yeah, you hang out with trash, you start to smell like garbage. Yeah, rich and appetizing. Mm, delicious. What time of day it is? Is it like nightfall? Because everyone's in beds already. Also, dude. Oh, I Ollie, turn off the the engines. You're literally sp 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 just 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 spouting, just spouting uh, fumes for no reason. Come on, dude. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> the jittery raccoon indeed. Right, so I think this is a pretty good place to stop. For the first session of Bear and Breakfast. I will not lie, this is a bit more story driven than I anticipated it to be, but it's not a bad thing. Story is relatively simplistic and quite cute. Luxurious Oda House, plus one requests per day. Wait, so a good toilet actually invites more people? I see the logic there. I very much do. Uh, so yeah. I'll be back next time. We'll continue with this. 
and I'm probably doing more so like a long play sort of thing, relaxed, longer sessions. And yeah, it's um, it's a treat. It's charming little game. We'll see just how deep the management side of things go, which should really be the bread and butter of this game. And I'm excited to uh, to see what the game has to bring in the near future. For the time being, my name is Integer, and this is Hank the Bear. And we shall see you in the next episode.